Hey Screen Printers, it's Ryan from Ryanit. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial using Accurip to do a density test to show you how to get a premium film using a minimal amount of ink at the fastest speed. We're going to be using Ryanit's new USA made white film premium film positive product which is a waterproof film as well. Okay, first of all we want to explain the importance of your film positive. Now, obviously this is screen printing, right? So the quality of that screen it determines everything. If you don't have a good screen, you don't have a good print. So making a good film to make that screen is extremely important. But it's not only making a good film that will last one time. It's making a good film that you can use over and over again. Also, it's making a good film that's quick and has the proper density so that when you're exposing it, light doesn't come through. So that's called DMAX. What we're looking for is an optimal 4.0 DMAX. Right now we're going to show you how to use Accurip to do a density scale test so that you don't have to flood your film with ink. Now by using a premium film product, you can use actually less ink, print faster, but still get a very good quality film. Now there are other types of film out on the market. Most of those film products are imported in the United States. There's non-waterproof and there is waterproof. Now what I'm holding right here is a waterproof film. You can see the haziness of it. It has a sticky inkjet receptive side. The industry has primarily gone to a waterproof film. The reason is why is because as soon as you print it, it dries. Also, it lasts longer and if you spill any water on it, it will retain the ink because as it's printed, it actually sucks the water in, or excuse me, sucks the ink into the film. So what happens when you use a wrong film? What happens when you use a film that's not a very high quality film? Let's take a look at a couple examples. Here we have the film that we just showed to the camera. This is the Right Film Premium Waterproof Film made in the USA. Now, as you can see, this is actually printed at a fairly low resolution, 720 by 720 with a 12 droplet weight. Now, we're actually going to show you a density scale test that you can use in Accurip to get the minimal amount of resolution with the minimal amount of droplet weight but still get an opaque image. I'm using my iPad here as a light table, so I got the brightness all the way turned up but I can't see any light at all coming through this film. Density is very, very good. Now, here's an example of a film that's printed with a non-waterproof film. So this is a standard inkjet film that only has a receptive porous coating on it versus the optimal waterproof coating that sucks the image in, um, retaining more ink and making a more opaque image. As you can tell, very poor quality. You can see lines through it. Now here's some older waterproof film that we used to sell at Ryanet. Now, I wanted to point out a couple things here. This is what can happen with a poor quality film over time. It might come out looking good, but if you see here, you can actually see this film's starting to bleed out. The inside's opaque, but you lost the edge definition because it actually started to bleed out and the ink started to transfer it into other areas of the film, leaving the edge hazy. You can really tell that on the actual crosshairs right there. Here's another example of a different brand of waterproof film. This is a film that we actually used, uh, we started to use to do some of our number stencil systems. And with this one, the ink didn't stick at all. So you can actually scratch the ink off this. So in the dark room, ink's actually coming off on this during exposure. So what can happen is the ink doesn't receive all the way into your film positive. And during the exposure, you'll actually see ink leaving on your emulsion after the exposure process before you rinse it out. So what you're going for is an optimal film that is not only opaque, but lasts a very long time. It doesn't scratch. You can actually see I'm making marks through it. So this doesn't scratch. Edge definition is extremely good and it's extremely opaque. You can't even see any light coming through it. Let's show you how to do that density scale test in Accurip to determine your optimal droplet weight. First you go to setup and then you set your printer up. So right now we have an Epson 1100. The most common printer today is the Epson 1430. We select our page size and we select our print resolution size. Now, when you're printing with Accurip, the lower the resolution, the faster the printer will print, but also the less ink it will lay down. So first of all, you can select your resolution. So if we're set, setting our resolution right here to 15, 5760 by 1440, it's gonna print a lot of ink, but it's gonna print very slow. One thing that we can do to speed it up is print 720 by 720. That prints a lot faster. Your droplet weight determines how much ink it actually lays down. Before, it was simply a guess of your droplet weight, but now with Accurip's new droplet weight test, we can do that very quickly and easily. Selection of high speed or low quality means that every single time, do you, does, so imagine my mouse here is the print head. A bi-directional means that when it prints that way, 
it also prints that way. Single directional, it means it only prints one way. So it's only laying down ink and then it cycles back and then it lays down more ink. Then it cycles back and lays down more ink. You're going to get higher resolution, but it's going to print a little bit slower if you're printing in both directions because there's more room for error. So we recommend printing um, in single direction, especially if you're doing a lot of fine detail. If you're doing vector stuff, sometimes the bi-direction stuff will definitely speed it up quite a bit. So the drop of weight test right now is we're going to be doing is 720 by 720. If we wanted to do a drop of weight test at 1440 by 720, we come here and change that. But since we want to get the maximum amount of density with the, the less amount of ink, we're going to do 720 by 720. We'll hit OK. And then you come over here, you go to droplet weight test for density and select print. Just put one sheet of film in. It can be 8.5 by 11 sheet of film. It doesn't have to be a large size of film. Put that in your printer. Once it's loaded up, hit print. This is what a droplet weight test looks like on a light table. First of all, we have this is our standard um, non, you know, non Ryonet waterproof film. It's a competitor's brand, just a, ra a random brand, low cost um, imported film. Uh, you can see the droplet you know, weight number one. That's never going to look good at 720 by 720. But as we come up, you can see it gets darker and darker and darker. And what we're looking for is complete black without banding. And you can see banding in every single one. That means it's not laying enough ink down. It's trying to go too fast to lay a dense image. We're printing in all black mode too here. Um, using the Epson 1100 and uh, Acura. Well, with the competitor brand, we cannot print 720 by 720. We'd actually have to bump this up. Um, right here at drop away 15, it's okay. I mean, that would make a film. and Probably the bottom three would make a film, but still, you see banding within it. It doesn't look good. So we use the right film. This is the right film right here. And you can see that drop away weight 12, um, just drop away even drop weight 11 is sufficing. Um, drop weight 10 has some banding in it, but everything else looks very good. Um, definitely drop weight 13 is completely pitch black. So yes, drop weight 1 looks very similar, but this film retains more ink and makes a more opaque image. And that way we can set accurate up to print at drop weight 11 or drop weight 12. In this scenario is what we have it set to, 720 by 720, non-biodirectional, and it prints very fast versus having to go to 1440 by 1440 and slow our printer down a lot, also using more ink. So using a better quality film can actually save you money in ink. So by using the Made in the USA Right Film Premium Waterproof Film, you can actually speed up your print time, create a denser film, and create a longer lasting, better quality film, which is gonna make a better screen over and over again, which makes all the difference in the world. Check out the Right Film on our website, silkscreenysupplies.com.